uh, Mark Spears undefeated, uh, LeBron, and then the training camp, you talked about this in regards to the Warriors, but do you have any comment on Trump in uninviting uh, the Eagles to White House after most of the black players decided not to go? Uh, well, I just actually just found out about it when I was walking up to the podium. I ain't really digested enough, but um, it's typical of him. I mean, I'm not surprised. Um, um, it's, you know, typical of him, and um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I know no matter who wins this series, no one's, no one wants to invite anyway. So it won't be Golden State or Cleveland going. Any, any thoughts on the stand the black players made? Um, well, I mean, listen, we have a, we have a lot of freedom. Um, in our country, and um, guys, um, men or female, um, have the right to do what they want to do, um, you know, in a very um, respectful manner. And uh, I think if they decide they don't want to go, then they have the right. Tim, on the aisle on the left. Brown, right behind, right behind Mark. To follow up on, follow up on that. I mean, it, the Pats sent half their team. And then Steph came out and said that he didn't have any interest in going. And then you supported Steph on Twitter, I remember. And does it surprise you that the divide just seems to be growing right now, even after more than a year of this of this discourse, that, that it seems like that it's just the gap is widening instead of any bridge being found? Um, I mean, I don't I think as long as he's in office, then um, the communication and things like that is going to continue to happen. Um, you know, you, it's, a, it's a lot of things that we believe in as Americans that uh, we don't feel, you know, that he's for. Um, um, you know, it's a lot of people that believe that, um, you know, that he's not for the people or you know, doing things that's right by the people. Um, so. No, no, that's not surprising, um, you know, hearing the news today with the Eagles. Um, but I think more importantly, we shouldn't, um, you know, as Americans and, and, and you know, people, especially people in Philadelphia, shouldn't let, you know, that news take away from what that um, unbelievable team did and accomplished, um, what all those players did to sacrifice throughout each and every Sunday, you know, going on playing, you know, the style of football that they played. and. You know, winning a Super Bowl the way they wanted. Um, you know, let's not let um, that accomplishment, um, things that you will, um, you know, have for the rest of your life. People will always call you a champion for the rest of your life. Let's not let, um, um, you know, someone uninviting you to their house um, take away from that moment. Um, because I think the championship um, of winning a, a Super Bowl or winning a Stanley Cup or winning a World Series or winning an NBA championship or a national championship. Um, is way bigger than getting invited to the White House, especially with him in there, in my opinion.